The cough assist is used for patients with impaired cough. When you can't get your secretions to the upper airway, it makes you more prone to pneumonia and secondary infections. So we would use a cough assist for a patient who has a weak cough or that has trouble clearing. Usually in conjunction, we would use the suction machine. It's similar to what you use in the dentist office. It just has the piece on the end, you put in your mouth, you clear out the secretions and you're good. Um, for patients that have just sleep issues, where they're maybe hypoventilating, wake up with morning headaches, don't feel rested, fatigued during the day, we would look at a bi-level. And then for a patient who has dyspnea or shortness of breath during the day, or may have a more complex issue while sleeping, then we would look at the Trilogy. There are a couple of similarities between the units. Um, the interfaces are interchangeable, so the units that you have, the nasal pillows, can be used with the Trilogy or with the bi-level, and the full face mask can also be used in either as well. They're both used a lot at night during the sleeping process when the ALS patient is more fragile, when the diaphragm isn't functioning as efficiently. The differences between the devices are that the Trilogy unit has a lot more advanced technology in it. It's better equipped to deal with a progressive disease once it starts declining because it can anticipate and measure the differences between where we want the patient ventilating and where they actually are ventilating, and we can fill in the differences. The other big difference is that it's a portable device. It runs on a battery, so it can be used even if there's no electricity. And it also provides a daytime functionality where they call it mouthpiece ventilation or sip and puff, where the patient can have recovery from shortness of breath if they're out and about or if they're in their homes and they develop shortness of breath and need assistance to get a deeper breath. So it has that functionality as well. It can be used in a dual mode. So from a cost perspective, one of the differences in the devices are that the bi-level is a little less expensive because it doesn't have those extra features of the mouthpiece ventilation, the portability that's built in, and the different modes of therapy that can be provided. On the Trilogy device, it is a little more expensive, but it is able to treat more symptoms that the ALS patient may be experiencing. And it can also be used in a non-invasive where it's delivered by a mask or a nasal pillow or invasively with a trach that they put the hole in the neck and hook up the tubing so that the patient can have the ventilator in that, set in that setting as well.